when you come to the present moment, you should have a purpose in mind. We do tend to have purposes. We're not just sitting here on the receiving end of things. But our purposes tend to be pretty random. This is why the Buddha recommends what he calls appropriate attention. You keep in mind the fact that if there's any suffering, it's going to come from within. If there's any happiness, it's going to come from within. So you have to look into your mind first. How is your state of mind? If you keep the state of mind in good shape, then everything else falls into line. Things outside may be bad, they may be good. But if you remember your skills and how not to suffer from them and how not to create any harm for anybody, then you're approaching the present moment in the right way. And this is a lesson you can take with you wherever you go. While you're sitting here with your eyes closed meditating, when you get up and move around, when you leave the monastery, when you come back, it's all the same thing, appropriate attention, keeping in the mind that there are skillful and unskillful ways of approaching the present moment, and you really want to remember that and apply your knowledge. Don't act as if you don't know. Don't forget. In this way you come to the present moment armed and prepared, and you're not caught off guard. Unexpected things may happen, but they all fall under the framework of the Four Noble Truths. Look for where there's a suffering. The suffering is going to come from what you're doing. So be careful about what you're doing. And as I said, everything else will fall in line.